Hey everybody, we are here with a very hard worker. He is working construction um, downtown on Center Point, which we're very excited about that. Side note, um, he's actually dealing and has been dealing with an athlete's foot infection. So it's very important to clean and make sure it's very dry in between the toes because what's happened, if you want to kind of take a peek closer, is the athlete's foot caused a crack um, from maceration, which maceration typically looks white. That, um, where the skin cracked, he got a bacterial infection. So as you can see, this is very, very painful for him. So what we're gonna do is drain out just as much as we can and focus on getting the infection out. So enjoy, okay? Again, it's just like, if you have a blister, what's like that popping a blister? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I tried popping that myself, man, let me tell you. Okay. You feeling anything? Pressure's okay, remember that? Just think about how much better you're going to feel. How we doing? Good so far. So far so good? You might think you're more numb than you thought you were. Okay. So working construction, this is definitely something that is a danger. Is that correct, Dr. Bruce? Absolutely. So important. Yeah, I know. What I'm doing is I'm just milking it I out, okay? I literally carry extra socks every day. You carry yeah. extra socks. That's smart. Also, making sure your feet, like, you I know. change them at least once a day because when you're walking around out there, your feet sweat real bad. They especially wear boots because you have to wear boots on site. So, I change my socks once a day. That's the best advice that you can give, isn't it, Dr. Perlis? Mm -hmm. You say that all the time. Absolutely. I actually have my extra pair in my pocket, or in my pocket, my jacket there. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, with athletes, a lot of people, you know, don't think it's anything major, but... You know, it can get to like this. You doing okay, bud? So far, so good. So far, so good. It's tolerable right now. Good. Like I told you before, this is going to be really raw. Did you get the, um, you okay? Mm -hmm. Did you get those tissue cortex? Okay. So, I brought those. Do you want to catch your nippers? No. Nope. It's all right. Just you keep it up. You're fine. I'll show you what it is. Okay. Okay. So what happens is if we do not drain this um, infectious fluid out, this will continue to travel up into the body and can become a systemic infection. Systemic infection is, okay, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, diarrhea, things like that. This gentleman has suffered from a little nausea yesterday, but he had a really bad headache. So we're not sure how much of that is from the headache. And he did have lack of appetite, so we know that this is definitely more. How you doing? Still good. Looking right in I can definitely feel a lot of pressure. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're definitely not going back to work here for until this is healed. A lot of it is out, which is good because now we're just starting to see normal color of blood. And our construction is still going on for all of our viewers. We're getting close. Okay. Yeah, they're going to miss me down there. <laughs> they are. All right. So you can see easily how all this skin was continuing to macerate. You're okay. I promise you need that. You're fine, you're fine. Yes. Okay. Okay, doing good. All right, good. All right. All right, let's just go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then we'll get you wrapped up. Athlete's foot infection, please don't let it go this long because, of course, he got a really bad bacterial infection um, and that led to an abscess. So, better be safe than sorry. If you're concerned you have athlete's foot infection, just call us. Come in. We'll take a quick peek and make sure you don't end up like this poor gentleman. All right, see you soon.